Hi, and welcome to this week's episode. You might have seen in the news that there are some really exciting new drugs that are being produced for women's health. And this is a really exciting time for menopausal women because finally women are getting a little bit of attention as they should have done for so long. And there are some amazing products that are coming out on the market to help us with menopausal symptoms. So I wanna talk about one that was just FDA approved this past month in May. Um, it is called Vioza. Uh, the generic name is Fezolinatide. That's a big mouthful. And it is FDA approved for treatment of vasomotor symptoms, also known as hot flashes and night sweats. So I'm a huge proponent of estrogen, as you know. So there'd be very few people who I would say estrogen would not be the go-to for hot flashes and night sweats, but there is a small group of women who could really benefit from this. For example, it's a small group, but if you're currently being treated for an estrogen receptor positive breast cancer, traditionally we've been told, well, just put up with it, you can't do anything about it, or the only other FDA approved drug prior to this was an antidepressant, uh, so Effexor or other SSRI drugs were given, as well as other antihypertensive drugs and things with a whole bunch of side effects. So if you're a breast cancer patient and you're really suffering with hot flashes and night sweats, and maybe you've been giving, given an antidepressant, which has a little bit of benefit, but frankly creates five more problems, now you're getting fatter and your sex drive is even worse, that's not a very good option in my opinion. So Vioza could be a good option for a very small group of women. So I just wanna talk about Vioza and just to highlight that this is not at all what I would recommend for everybody because hot flashes and night sweats are for sure really annoying. I mean, they affect our quality of life, our sleep, our ability to work, so many things. But that's just a tiny fraction of what estrogen will take care of for you. If you take estrogen, it will make hot flashes and night sweats go away in the great majority of women, but it'll also do all the other things that we know about, like improving bone health, Alzheimer's risk, cardiovascular disease, colon cancer, sexual wellness, so many things. So hot flashes and night sweats, they're a pain. And if we can make them go away, that's great. But I would hesitate to even think about taking Vioza if you're a candidate for estrogen, because one of the problems is a lot of women, for no fault of their own, are being told by physicians who are frankly uneducated not to take estrogen because of fears of things that don't really exist, because they're not educated on the latest science, and they might be directed to take Vioza when they could actually take estrogen. So I do wanna preface this by saying estrogen, bioidentical estradiol, is the mainstay for treatment of these symptoms. And only if there is a true contraindication to estrogen would I even consider using Vioza, but there might be a few patients in that category. So I'm yeah, kind of a little skeptical about the way this is going to go because I'm pretty sure a lot of patients are going to be prescribed it instead of estrogen and that's going to be a disaster because they're still going to get all these health issues and it's not going to help 99% of what they're suffering from. However, in that very small group of patients who really should not take estrogen right now, this is another really great option to help with vasomotor symptoms, also known as hot flashes and night sweats. So Vioza is a new or novel way to address this problem. So it's pretty exciting. I mean, it is pretty cool that scientists are really spending a lot of time figuring out how to fix these issues for us because you know, previously we had pretty much nothing. So I'll just say I'm grateful for the product, but I'm also very concerned that it's going to be more broadly prescribed than it needs to be. Well, that being said, let's talk about some good things about Vioza. Well, it, it's an incredible thing that we've isolated the part of the brain. It's called the hypothalamus. It's a part of our brain that controls thermoregulation or temperature sensitivity. And there are particular cells in that area that when we're estrogen depleted, when we go through menopause, these cells grow. They hypertrophy or grow rapidly and to be much, much larger than they should be. So in autopsy specimens of women who were postmenopausal and not taking estrogen, these cells were massively bigger than they should be. And that is thought to be the cause of this issue. And so if we can prevent those cells from growing, which estrogen will do and Vioza will do, then those problems will go away. So we really wanna 
back up and treat the root cause early on so that those cells have not hypertrophied. So if you're a woman who's just starting to go through menopause and you currently have breast cancer and you have been told you should not take estrogen, this could be a really good option for you. So just to get a little bit sciencey for a minute, there are these particular neurons in this part of the brain that are called candy neurons or also have what are called NK3 receptors, and that's a whole bunch of jargon. But the long story short is this particular drug addresses that area of the brain and is very effective at controlling hot flashes and night sweats. It is taken orally. It's a 45 milligram pill that you take every day. And if you read the package insert for this stuff, it looks very scary. You actually are recommended to have your liver enzymes checked every three months for the first year because in clinical trials, drugs in this family were shown to increase uh, liver enzymes, which basically mean that your liver is overworking and could potentially be damaged. But the good news is this particular drug has a very, very low incidence of causing liver issues. The reason the FDA put that little caveat in is because some of the previous drugs in the same family that were used in studies, and then this is the way studies work. They start with an initial drug, and then they find it has some problems, and then they modify it a little bit. And so this particular drug, Vioza, has a very low risk of causing liver problems, but because some of its precursors and the earlier studies had a pretty significant risk of causing liver problems, the FDA just threw that in there. So if you're my patient and you're taking Vioza, I don't necessarily need to check your liver enzymes every three months. I mean, that's a lot of work. And the, the risk of having a problem with your liver with this seems to be extraordinarily low. The side effects seem to be very low too. Apparently some GI symptoms, I've actually never prescribed it. It's just now coming out on the market, so we'll see how that works. And um, as you guys know, I'm very unlikely to prescribe it unless you actively have breast cancer right at this moment, and it's estrogen receptor positive. So just to know there is another drug out there, and it could be very beneficial for a very small group of women who have previously been given antidepressants, which have tons of side effects. So does not affect sexual function, does not make you gain weight, now, it doesn't have all the other benefits of estrogen either, but if we can get rid of those hot flashes and night sweats while you're getting through your breast cancer treatment, hey, that's wonderful. And please don't fall into the group of women who are no doubt going to be offered this medication when they are very good candidates for estradiol. 99% of people are really good candidates for estradiol. So as I mentioned, my concern about these drugs is they're going to be overprescribed to people who could get a much better alternative. A much better alternative is estradiol because it takes care of the problem at the level of the brain in those thermoregulatory centers and it has a hundred other benefits. Whereas just to be very clear, Vioza only has one indication and that is for reducing hot flashes and night sweats. And that's a whole lot better than nothing if you can't take estrogen but it's not the whole picture. So please, if you can take estrogen, that is absolutely what you should do. So there's another drug in the same family that's almost through the FDA process and will be approved shortly. Don't really know why you need two, except probably two competing drug companies are gonna hope to make a lot of money from it. <laughs> So uh, with caution, I'm letting you know that there is a fantastic product on the market now for hot flashes and night sweats that is non-hormonal, would only be appropriate for a very, very small group of patients who truly cannot take estradiol. But hey, that's great. I'm very excited that drug companies are spending money now on giving us some options. So no longer are you going to be told if you're a breast cancer patient, I hope, oh well, you don't have cancer, so just go home and put up with all those other symptoms because at least you're cancer-free, woohoo! and who cares if your quality of life is terrible. Hopefully we're not going to be telling patients that anymore or telling patients, just take an antidepressant. Yikes! That is terrible medicine in my opinion. So not a bad drug, has a place, very small place, but a very important place for a very small group of women. So. That's my take on this new drug, Viosa. I hope you learned something today. If you did, please share it with your friends, and I can't wait to see you next week.